Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Soul Inspired Seller. So today, super exciting to be sharing what sold for me on the Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari platforms the second half of May, 2021. And guys, during this two week sales period, I had over $2,000 in gross sales. And as a part-time reseller, I am super grateful for this additional revenue stream for my family. And I'm here to share with you what is selling for me in the hopes that it helps you when you are outsourcing and deciding what to pick up. So like always, guys, I'm going to get super transparent with my numbers. I will not only share what the item sold for, but what did I pay for the item? Where did I source the item? And then I will back out all of my expenses, my platform fees, any shipping that I offered, my cost of goods, and I will share with you what was my actual net revenue? What did I actually bring home? So if this sounds like valuable information to you, please stick around. I'm going to jump right into my sales. So a big welcome back to my current subscribers. I just wanted to say how grateful I am for those of you that continue to hang with me each and every week that choose to tune into my content and help me to build a sense of community on my channel. That is my goal and I am just immensely grateful for you guys. If you are new here, a welcome to you too. My name is Nicole Wills and I am a full-time nurse leader, a full-time mama of two littles. They are ages six and nine. So I like to take a lot of my additional time and invest in and grow my reselling business, which is part-time on the Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari platforms. And that is what my channel is all about. It's about my reselling journey. I share different tips and tricks. I do consistent what solds every two weeks. I do unboxings and reviews and thrift hauls and all the reselling things. So if this type of content sounds valuable to you, if it sounds interesting, please consider subscribing to my channel. I think you might really enjoy it. And as always, if you appreciate the time it took for me to put this content together, if you could just take a quick second and give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate that as well. So we're going to jump right into the meat and potatoes, right into the content today. And I always like to start off uh, talking about my sales period, just high level summary. How many sales did I make and where did I make them? So the second half of May 2021, I made a total of 51 sales. Memorial Day weekend, from Friday to that Monday was very good to me. I think it was good to a lot of resellers based on my history with Memorial Day weekend and what I'm seeing on Instagram. So I will be sharing those sales within this sales period. The majority of those sales were on Poshmark, but five were on eBay and five were on Mercari. And something that I'm doing different now, guys, so you'll see a hybrid of this because I just started changing this within the last couple of weeks. Historically, I have offered free shipping on eBay and free shipping on Mercari and I am no longer necessarily doing that. On Mercari, I am now charging shipping, whether it is first class, a lighter item, or priority. And then on eBay, I still have a handful of items, quite a few items that are first class, that based on what I am selling them for, I am offering free shipping. But more and more and more, I am starting to charge for shipping on eBay as well. So far, I haven't seen that it has negatively impacted my sales, but it's something I'm trying and it's something that I will be tracking on and I'll let you guys know how it's going. I just realized I was eating too much money offering free shipping for everything on those platforms and decided to try something new. And to be honest, you guys know, I think it was maybe in my last what sold I mentioned. Really, I started off on Mercari offering free shipping because I could not figure out how to get the labels to print on my Rolo printer. But thanks to you guys, I have figured that out. A couple of you shared with me your tips and tricks. They were actually super easy. And so yes, now I am charging shipping on Mercari and it is going well. So we're going to jump right into my sales because like I said, I made 51 of them. And so it's going to take us a hot minute to get through these, but I think you will find them valuable. And this period that I'm going to be talking about is from May 16th to May 31st. 
So on May 16th, I had quite a few sales. I think there were seven of them. And if I don't say eBay or Mercari, it's safe to assume that the sale happened on Poshmark. So the first sale on May 16th was super exciting and I'm going to tell you why, but it was this pair of beautiful Johnson and Murphy Geneva caged wedge sandals in a size seven. And guys, I love picking up Johnston and Murphy if it is a trendy style and if I can get it for the right cost of goods, the brand does sell for me. So the buyer paid $60 for this pair of sandals and I had only had them listed for a couple of days. They were not listed for long. And guys, this is a pair of sandals that I picked up at an uptown cheapskate. It was a charity fill a bag event. So you paid $15 per bag and you could just fill it with items that had been donated to the store. And guys, these were donated. So I only paid $1.50 for these and I ended up profiting $44.04. The exciting thing is I walked away from that haul with 30 items at a cost of goods of $1.50 a piece for $45. And so essentially I paid for this 30 item haul with this one pair of sandals. And who doesn't just love that as a reseller, right? So guys, if you haven't seen that video, I actually just released it last week. It is this charity event haul video. I will definitely link it up here for you, but yeah, it might be fun to go back and watch that. The second item to sell on May 16th was this Love Shack Fancy. It was a Target Love Shack Fancy though, but I was super excited because I've never found Love Shack Fancy in my area ever. It was the Camille tear dress in a size large. And guys, don't poo poo Love Shack Fancy from Target because it sold for $50. This was an item that I only had listed for about a week. It was an item that I picked up at my local Uptown Cheapskate as well for $11.79. I picked it up on clearance. And so I ended up profiting $25.75 on this dress. So not too shabby for something bought at Target. Also on May 16th, I sold this pair of Steve Madden. They were the Terra leather peep toe sandal in a size six and a half. Guys, these sold for $20. This was an item that I also um, listed. They sold within a couple of days. And this was an item that I also got from the Uptown Cheapskate Charity Fellow Bag event for $1.50. And so I ended up profiting $12.04. And guys, normally I sell Steve Madden's for more like $30 to $40 a piece, you know, if they are real leather. But these did have some minor flaws. They did have some markings that I did disclose in the pictures and the listing. So I did sell them for $20 knowing that I only got them for $1.50. The next sale on May 16th was this pair of Clarks. They were a navy blue Mary Jane. They were a pair of leather flats. They were a size seven and a half and they sold for $30. They were only listed for about three weeks. This was an item that I picked up at a Goodwill when I was visiting Ohio. I paid $4.29 for them. And so I profited $17.25. And guys, Clark's is a brand that I will pick up if I can get it for an insanely low cost of goods and they have to be in excellent condition. But because they are real leather, they are more of like a comfort shoe, people do buy them. So it is a brand that if you can get for the right cost of goods, I would recommend picking it up. Also on 516, I sold this Athleta. It was a gray peacoat style activewear jacket in a size extra large. This item sold for $40. It was via an offer and it had been listed for a good month or so. This was from a thread up 200 pound bulk box. It is the one I have been tracking on for my videos. So my cost of goods was $1.70. And so guys, I profited $30.30 off of this jacket. So the next item to sell on May 16th was this pair of white Birkenstocks. They were the Honolulu. So they were the EVA. So they weren't leather, but they were that like styrofoam plastic type of material, flip flop sandals in a size 37. And guys, these are still listed on the Birkenstock website. These uh, sold for full on asking price of $28. They had only been listed for a few days. Guys, this was also a pair of shoes that I got at the 
that Uptown Cheapskate Charity Fill a Bag event for $1.50. And so I ended up making $18.44 off this pair of Birkenstocks. The last sale on the 16th was on Mercari. So guys, this was a pair, and I hope I'm not butchering it, it's Italian, the Magnani Dylan Leather Driving Moccasin in a size 41 and a half. Uh, these sold for an offer of $75. They had only been listed for a few weeks, got a little bit of attention. These were from a Thread Up Shoe Rescue Box. It was the first shoe rescue box that I purchased with the increased cost of goods of $6.50 per pair. And so I did end up paying shipping on this item. This was before I started charging shipping on Mercari. And frankly, I still have some older items that I still have free shipping. So we will catch up with that. But I ended up profiting $50.52 off this pair of driving moccasins. I had two sales on May 17th. The first sale was this Donald J. Pliner. They were this bright, like popping orange red suede wedge slide sandal in a size six and a half. These, this was an item I remember I think I picked up um, on an Uptown Cheapskate my birthday haul that I did. I was very excited about it. So these sold for an offer of $48. They were only listed for a few days. Like I said, from Uptown Cheapskate, I paid $7.15. These items did have the stamp for clearance. And so I ended up profiting $28.79 off this pair of sandals. The second item to sell on May 17th, was this pair of Anthropology? Uh, the brand is Amadi wide leg cropped pant in a size small. This was just a beautiful staple piece. They were black, they were comfort, they were all the fun things. These sold for my outright asking price of $40 on Poshmark. They actually had been listed for over a month. And guys, these were from a previous thread up 200 pound rescue box. So my cost of goods was around $1.40. So I ended up profiting $28.14 off this pair of pants. On May 18th, we had a no sales day, so we'll skip over that. On May 19th, we had one sale, and it was this pair of new with tags. It was a Cat and Jack three-piece shirt, pants, and suspender set in a 3T. You guys have probably seen this before if you've been watching my What Sold. This is a multi-quantity listing that I have in my closet, so I'm just trying to move them through. This is from a previous Wholesale Ninjas case pack palette with Target merchandise. I have to say, these Wholesale Ninja case pack palettes, I haven't gotten any since last summer, but they were super fun. I have profited about $500 from the few palettes that I got, but obviously the profit margin that I like to see just isn't there. So I haven't lost money. It was fun, but just trying to move these items along. So this item sold for $15. I got this item for around a dollar in that case pack palette. And so my profit ended up being around $11 for this item. All right, on May 20th, I had a no sales day. On May 21st, I had a handful of sales. So the first one was on Poshmark. It was this Tatami by Birkenstock. It was a leather slip on sandal and a size 43. So these were men's. They sold for an offer of $60. This was an item that I had listed for a few weeks. They were from an Uptown Cheapskate haul. And guys, I got these for $12.79 on clearance there. And guys, I find that if something isn't just like the standard Birkenstock, if it is like the Batula by Birkenstock or the Tatami by Birkenstock, they tend to be priced lower than if something is just outright Birkenstock. Um, and people do tend Tend to still pay between that 60 to 80 dollar range for them so just a little tip out there and so i ended up profiting 32 dollars and 75 cents off this pair of sandals the next item to sell on may 21st was this anthropology it was the margot calf hair leather mini backpack this backpack was just super adorable i sold this for an offer of 60 dollars the buyer was so happy to receive it i just remember her being super sweet this item was only listed for about a week. It was also from my local Uptown Cheapskate and I paid $11.19 for it. 
And so I ended up profiting $29.36. The next item to sell on May 21st was this pair of Danceco XP. They were just a colorful print leather clog. I love me some Danceco's if I can get them for the right cost of goods and they're in great condition. These were a size eight and a half and that is my size and I am a nurse. So I was super uh, tempted to keep these. I purchased these at My Style Encore for $14.40. They actually sold for $65. They were only listed for a little bit over a week. And so my profit was $35.14 from this pair of dance goes. Okay, my last sale on May 21st was on eBay. It was this pair of Current Elliott, the Girl Crush Raw Hem Flare Jeans. These sold for $40. They were listed for about a month and a half. These were from a thread up 200 pounds bulk box, a previous one. So I did get them for a cost of goods of $1.40. I did pay shipping on this item. It's before I um, stopped offering free shipping on every single item on eBay. And so I profited $28.28. .28. May 22nd was a big sales day for me. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine sales on May 22nd. So the first thing to sale was this Rebecca Minkoff black zipper detail. It was like a wallet slash clutch. And this was an item, guys. I did a video on it. It was my first thread up, maybe my last thread up handbag box unboxing. I have had a lot better luck with the coach boxes that they sell, but this one just wasn't that great. But I did do a video on it. I will link it up here. It actually talks through how I worked through through the thread up customer service aspect of asking for a refund because there were two non salvageable items in that box. So if you are interested in that and how you would work through that with thread up, that might be a video of mine you want to check out. But yes, this item did sell for $30, which I was happy because I paid $20 for this item. It was only listed for maybe one week and I ended up profiting only $1.54. But guys, just given the state of this box, I was really happy to recoup my $20 cost of goods for this item. So if you guys get their handbag or their coach box, just be aware that they will do four bags and then they can include one accessory and I have gotten all wallets as that accessory but I have seen people get like phone cases and things like that and you are paying $20 per item so just keep that in mind if you are buying thread up handbag or coach rescue boxes. The second item to sell on May 22nd was this pair of Saludos. It was the Menorca platform wedge espadrille sandal in a size five and a half. Um, so they were on the smaller size. They sold for an offer of $40. These had actually been listed since March. They got a lot of attention, but I did keep them priced on the higher side because I did think there was a buyer out there for them. I think I had them listed for $60 and I accepted an offer for $40. These were from a Thread Up Shoe Rescue Box. I paid $6 for them. They are from when they were only $6 a pair. And so I ended up profiting $18.55 for this pair of sandals. The next item to sell on May 22nd was this pair of Free People San Antonio Leather Slide Sandals in a size 36. These sold for $30. I do still love selling free people shoes, even though I feel like the rest of the free people market is a bit saturated or a lot saturated. Uh, these had only been listed for a couple of days. They got a lot of attention. These were also from that Uptown Cheapskate charity fill a bag event. So I only paid $1.50 for them. And so I ended up profiting $20.04 off this pair of sandals. The next item guys was from my Wholesale Ninjas case pack palette with Target merchandise. It was the set of two stainless steel spill proof. They were a dino water bottle. I have a ton of these guys. I do plan to sell some of them in my yard sale that I have coming up. They sold for $16. This is a multi-quantity listing I have in my closet. People are buying them. They are moving along. I just have a lot of them. And so I paid as a cost of goods $4 for these two water bottles. And so this was only a profit of $6.34. But hey, a profit is a profit.
All right, on May 22nd, I also sold this new tags. It was a chaser. It was like a teal green muscle tank in a size medium. This item sold for full outright asking price of $28. This is an item with a lot of chaser pieces that I've had listed since the fall. So happy to see moving along. This item was from a BNG trading box and I paid $6 for it. So I ended up making $16.40 off of this tank. All right, the next item to sell on May 22nd was this pair of Mel by Melissa. They were just a gold glitter flat in a size nine. They were made of that rubber type material. These sold for $20. This was an item that I picked up at a local Goodwill for a cost of goods of $3.99. They had been listed since November, so I was happy to see them moving along. I made $12.01 off of this item. The next item to sell was this pair of Kate Spade. They were like a cream color embellished long sandal in a size eight and a half. And spoiler alert, these were from my personal closet. I'd actually purchased these for myself off of Poshmark a while back. They sold for an offer of $35. And so I ended up making $28 off this pair of sandals. I also sell things from my personal closet when I'm ready to see them moving along. These were just a little bit on the smaller side for me. The last sale on May 22nd was on eBay. It was this Madewell The Jean Vest. It was in a size small. It sold for an offer of $40.99. It had been listed for a couple of months. This was an item that I picked up from my local Style Encore for $6. I did pay shipping on this item, and so I ended up profiting $24.55 off of this jean vest. So I had two sales on May 23rd. The first one was from a Wholesale Ninja's personal care lot that I had purchased a while back. Guys, I did, I actually still do, I just don't keep it very active. I have a whole health and beauty store that I tried for about a year on eBay. I don't really talk about it on this channel, but this was an item that I had cross-listed. I actually do plan and I have it written down on my to-do list to take my health and beauty items and transfer them over to my eBay store where I am selling clothing and kind of combine some of that and then just really clean out that stock because um, yeah, just having a health and beauty store, I know it can be lucrative for some, it was just not my cup of tea. It was very fun to try though, I have to admit. So anyways, the first item to sell on the 23rd was this AHC, it was like a face cream. This item sold for $24 on Poshmark. This is a multi-quantity listing that I have in my closet. Like I said, from Wholesale Ninja's personal care lot, I paid $2 for it and so I ended up making $14.74 off of this face cream. The next item actually sold on eBay on the 23rd. It was this pair of Keds. They were a Gingham Champion Seersucker Sneaker in a size eight and a half. These sold for $35.99. These were from a Jomar pre-loved shoe pack. I paid $4.40. I did pay, actually the buyer paid shipping on this item. It was one of my first items to pay with shipping. And I do remember this customer left me feedback and she was super happy. And so I ended up making $18.77. So I made eight more dollars than I normally would if I would have offered free shipping. So. This experiment is definitely worth a try, I think. I made one sale on May 24th. It was also on eBay. It was this pair of Timberland Paisley Canvas Boots in a size eight. I was happy to see this sale because this was an item that had previously sold on eBay and then the buyer never paid. So this buyer actually paid. They paid $67.99. This item was listed for about a month. This item was also from my Uptown Cheapskate. I paid $8 for them with some in-store credit that I had and just using my 20% off that I get for racking up points. Uh, the buyer did pay shipping for these as well. So for shoes, I'm just doing an $8 flat rate shipping. So I may eat a little bit of that cost, but for the most part, the buyer is paying shipping. And uh, I ended up profiting $42.45. I had three sales on May 25th. The first sale was this Rebecca Taylor La Vie Ruby Cotton Floral Dress in a size medium. You guys, if you've been watching my videos, you may remember this. This is from my last 200 pound bulk video. It was one of my favorite pieces that I pulled out. So if you can't see it on my face, I was very happy that it sold. It did sell for $75 on Poshmark. It had been listed for about a month. This was from the 200 pound thread up box I am tracking on. 
I only paid $1.70 for this piece. So I ended up profiting $50.85 off of this beautiful dress. The second item to sale on May 25th was this pair of Adidas Light Racer. It was the CLN trainer sneakers in a men's size 10. These sold for an offer on Poshmark of $45. They had been listed for about a month and a half. These were from a Thread Up Shoe Rescue Box. I did pay $6.50 for these. And so I ended up making $29.50 off of this pair of men's sneakers. The last item to sell on May 25th was on eBay. It was this free piece striped tank with a raw hem. It was a size medium. This was an item that I had listed in my closet for quite a while. So just an example of a basic free people piece that just sat for like a year. It did sell for an offer of $18.65 and I was very happy to see it moving along. I only paid $3 for this at my Uptown Cheapskate about a year ago. And so I did pay about $3 and some odd cents in shipping on this piece. So I ended up profiting around $9 and 77 cents. On May 26th, I had another no sales day, so we will skip over that. I made up for these no sales days though, guys. I made up for them. On May 27th, I had three sales. So the first one was on Poshmark. It was this Free People Movement Breathe Easy leggings. They were in a size extra small. They were in this like nude peachy color. They sold for an offer of $35. They had been listed for about a month. This was an item that I sourced off of Poshmark for about $6. And so I ended up making $19.54 off this pair of Free People leggings. The second sale on the 27th was actually on eBay and it was an international sale through the Global Shipping Program. It was this Altered State Helene ruffle bell sleeve pullover. It was in this like sage green color, a size small. This sold for $44.99. The buyer actually paid shipping of $20 for this altered state pullover. She must have really liked it. It was new with tags. This was an item that actually sat in my Poshmark closet for over a year. And so I only paid $6 for it. It's actually an item that I sourced off of Poshmark. I think it was when the pandemic first hit. And so I know the buyer paid $20 in shipping, but that solely went to shipping. So I ended up making $15 and 14 cents off of this Altered State piece. Altered State is a brand that I tried, but I no longer pick up because it just really tends to sit for me. Altered State is a brand though that your buy sell trade stores, depending on the style and the condition, they will buy it and they will sell it. So just keep that in mind. The second sale on May 27th was on Mercari. It was this pair of coconuts by Matisse. It was the Sky Fringe Sandal. These sold for my outright asking price of $34 on Mercari. They had been listed for about a month. They were from a style encore haul that I believe I filmed a while back and my cost of goods was $2. So yes, this was from the last style encore clearance event that they had and I did film that haul. And so the buyer paid the $12 flat rate USPS shipping on Mercari. And so I ended up making $27.31. So guys, that would have been shipping shipping costs that I would have eaten, it would have at least been $8 for me. And so that was an item that charging shipping worked out on Mercari. On May 28th, I had two sales. The first one was a multi-quantity listing in my closet. You guys are probably tired of seeing this one. It was another universal thread floral wrap ruffle dress this time in a size XXL. I really am selling through these. I had them in multiple sizes. I think that was my last XXL. It sold for $18 from Wholesale Ninja's case pack palette with Target merchandise, paid $2 for it. And so my profit was $9.94. The second item to sell also on the 28th was also from the same Wholesale Ninja's case pack palette, Target merchandise. It was this new with tags, exhilaration. It was a crop stripe front tie jumpsuit in a size large, also a multi-quantity listing in my closet. This item sold for $20. And so with a cost of goods of around $2, I made $14 off of this item. On May 29th, I had four sales. The first sale
sale was this pair of Lily Pulitzer. It was the Liza shorts in Sweet Tart Crazy Cat. I love the different prints. I don't wear Lily Pulitzer, but I sure love selling it in a size six. These sold for $35. They were only listed for a week or two. I can't remember which buy sell trade I bought them from, but was either Uptown Cheapskate or Style Encore for $11. And so I ended up profiting $14.54 off this pair of shorts. And then also on 529, my last three sales on this date were a slew on Mercari. It was like bam, bam, bam. They all sold within like an hour of each other. It was kind of interesting. So the first item to sell was an item for from my personal closet, my kids closet. It was this pair of Under Armour boys basketball sneakers. My son had just grown out of them. He only wore them a couple of times. These sold for $24. They sold within a couple of days of listing. And so I made $20.60 off this pair of sneakers. And this was another item where the buyer paid the $12 shipping via USPS. The second item to sell on May 29th on Mercari was this Lily Pulitzer white shift dress in a size small. It was just absolutely gorgeous. It sold for $78. It had been listed for a few weeks. I purchased this from one of my buy sell trade stores for $26.00. 33 cents. Uh, I ended up paying shipping on this. This was one that I did not charge shipping. I paid about $8. And so my profit was $33.32. The next item on Mercari was an exciting sale. It was on the 29th. It was this pair of Loeffler Randall gold leather ballet flats. This is the first item I've actually sold of the brand. I think I have two items listed or I did have two items listed. They retail for a really high amount, but um, they get like intermittent attention. So these actually have been listed for a few months, but they did sell for $60, which is what I had them listed for. Um, they did have a couple, I wouldn't call them major flaws. They just had some markings in the leather that I disclosed and took photos of. These were from a Thread Up Shoe Rescue Box. So I paid $6 for them. So the buyer paid $12, the flat rate Mercari shipping for something two to three pounds. So I ended up profiting $45.96 off this pair of Loeffler Randalls. So I was very excited about that. All right, guys, well, I just gave you my Friday of uh, Memorial Day weekend sales. So this is going into my Saturday and I had one, two, I had eight sales on that Saturday. Um, the first one was an amazing sale. These were actually, it was a really good sales weekend actually. It was a new without tags. It was this Coach Large City Tote with leopard print. This was an item that I paid up at my local Style Encore because guys, I did my research and I knew in my gut that it was going to sell and it was going to make me a nice profit. And so this bag ended up selling for an offer of $130. It was only listed for a couple of days. I did pay $67 for this bag guys, but I made $37 in profit and it did sell fast. So the risk was worth it and very happy with that sale and happy to see it going to a good home. It was a beautiful bag. The second item to sell on May 30th was this pair of Sam Edelman. It was the Dylan Silver Jewel Dong Sandal in a size nine. These had been listed for about a month. They did sell for $30 on Poshmark. They were from a Thread Up Shoe Rescue Box, so I paid $6 for them, and I ended up making $15.54 off this pair of sandals. The next item to sell on May 30th was this Lily Pulitzer Chipper. It was a pair of 100% cotton shorts in a size 12, so like a large. They sold for $45. They were only listed for a few days. Guys, Lily Pulitzer does tend to move for me. These sold for $45 on Poshmark. They were only listed for a couple of days. They were from my local style encore. I paid $12.83 for them. And so I ended up making $20.71 off this pair of Lily shorts. The next item to sell on May 30th was this Junian Burke. It was a white pebble grain small flap wallet. It was just a little pretty wallet, I thought. It sold for an offer of $35 on Poshmark. It was only listed for a couple of days from my local Uptown Cheapskate. Guys, this video should be an advertisement for Uptown Cheapskate. A lot of my sales were from there lately. And in this period, I've gotten a lot of great buys from there. I paid $7.13 using my points that I rack up and I ended up profiting $18.41 for this wallet. 
The next item to sale on May 30th was this pair of Chaco. They were the Eco Tread flip flap sandal in like a zebra aqua print in a size six. They sold for $20. They were only listed for a week. This was an item that I picked up from my Uptown Cheapskate for $6.43. I ended up profiting $9.57 off this pair of Chacos. The next item to sell on May 30th was this Mave, Mavis patchwork boho button down in a size medium. This was an item that sold for $30 on Poshmark. It had actually been listed for a few months. I'm noticing with Mave, it used to sell well for me. It's an anthropology brand. I feel like it's starting to sit more and more. So I personally am going to be a lot more cautious when picking it up and really looking at the cost of goods and just being cautious in general. This was an item though that I got from a thread up 200 pound bulk box for $1.40. So very low cost of goods. I ended up making $20.14 off of this top. The next item to sell on May 30th was this Kate Spade. It was a black vintage leather handbag. It did sell for an offer of $45 on Poshmark. This item had been listed for three weeks. It was not getting a lot of attention and I was a little bit nervous because this was another item that I got from that thread up handbag box where I paid $20 for my cost of goods and frankly um, I wasn't I wasn't super upset about the box especially with ThreadUp's customer service response but it was just kind of like hmm, maybe I'll make my money back and make a little bit of a profit so yes I paid $20 for this piece and ended up profiting $13.54 so at least I'm on track to be making my money back and be making a couple dollars off of that box. Okay the last item that sold on May 30th I'm going to be a little bit elusive about it because I am halfway done with filming a video about a thread up rescue box. It is an unboxing and then I am taking a one month period seeing what sells and the second half of the video will be what actually sells sold from that box and how much money I am making. So I will tell you that this item sold on eBay. This item was vintage. This item was only listed for less than 24 hours. It sold for $77. Uh, a little hint, which might give it away what it might be. My cost of goods was $20, like I said, from a thread up rescue box. Um, the buyer did end up paying an $8 flat rate shipping that I charged. And so I ended up profiting $38 and 46 cents off of this item and like I said sorry to be so vague about it I've done one of these videos in the past where I did a thread up unboxing and then I came back and I said you know after the unboxing and the surprise like what actually sold from it and you guys did enjoy it and I don't want to ruin that surprise so it is coming here within the next couple of weeks all right we are to our last day of the sales period we are to Memorial Day and guys on this day I made three sales so the first sale was this coach pink double compartment wristlet wallet. This item sold for $35. It was listed for under 24 hours. Guys, this was an item from the Uptown Cheapskate Charity Fill a Bag event. So I only paid $1.50 for it. And so I ended up profiting $24.04 off of this wristlet. So the second item to sell on May 31st is also from the video that is forthcoming about what sold from a certain thread up rescue box. I will tell you it sold on Poshmark for $95. It sold in less than 24 hours and my cost of goods was hint hint $20. And so I ended up profiting on this big item up here, $48.55. But guys, I promise it is coming soon. The last item to sell on May 31st was on Poshmark. It was this beautiful pair of J. Crew Martina. They were a blue Italian suede pair of wedges. They were in a size seven. Guys, I was so happy to see these moving along. These, I swear, were from one of my first thread up rescue shoe boxes, like well over a year ago. These have gotten so much attention, like so much attention, but they like never moved. In fact, I think I may have even relisted and delisted them using Seller Insight. And so these ended up selling for $40 and I was super excited. The buyer was really happy with them, left me great feedback. They were from a Thread Up Shoe Rescue box, like I said. And so I ended up profiting $23.54, but just super happy to see these beautiful bright blue wedges moving along to a good home. 
So guys, before I go into my gross sales for this two week period and what I actually made, just want to give a really quick update on the thread up 200 pound rescue box that I am tracking on both for you and for me, because one of you asked, Nicole, what are you actually making on one of these 200 pound rescue orders? And I was actually interested in that as well. And so I chose to start tracking on my fourth 200 pound rescue box. I did give a full disclaimer that I was actually super happy with the order, but out of my four 200 pound orders, it was actually my least favorite. With that, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be a little bit less detailed than I have been in my what solds and just tell you where I'm at with my profit. In full disclosure, I actually was on vacation all last week. I just got home from a sunny trip to Florida with my family. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling rejuvenated and recharged. But with that, I didn't have time before doing this video to give the details of how many items I have listed, how many items I have sold. But what I can tell you from my spreadsheet is that I am up to a $248 net positive profit margin on that last order. And in my next what sold, I promise I will get back to being more detailed with that thread up 200 pound rescue box. But I know you guys are interested in what I am actually making. And so far I am at $248 positive margin. So guys, now to end with my summary of what my sales were for the last two weeks of May, 2021. So you saw on my thumbnail, I had a total gross profit of $2,068 and actually 61 cents, every penny counts, right? And after you back out my platform fees, my cost of goods, any shipping that I offered or any shipping discount, I brought home a net profit of $1,155.16. So guys, you know, I always say I don't compare myself to other resellers. I know there are resellers that are just starting out on their journey or in a different path on their journey. And I know that there are resellers that are selling a lot more than that. But as a part-time reseller that has another full-time career and a family to take care of and other responsibilities, I am one, just grateful for any sales, but I am particularly happy about this sales period. So with that, please let me know if you have any questions for me. If you want to leave any comments, please drop them below. I do try to respond as quickly as possible. I am just so grateful for this community and the engagement on my channel. And with that, guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll definitely be seeing you soon.